This is the second video to describe computing percentages. This time I want to do it for the n-grams. Same process we talked about before, assessing single terms. This time I'm going to the meta node after the n-gram creator. The n-gram creator in this case was looking at two grams or bigrams uh, and creating bags of words out of these uh, n-grams. Inside the percent positive negative it looks almost identical to what the other uh, single term assessment looked like. In this case, however, instead of grouping by term and document, I'm grouping by n-gram and document. And I'm just grabbing the uh, uh, the, the class associated with it and uh, the, the, the document class and the document number. That's just in case they occur more than once. Uh, I believe uh, it, typically they will occur once, so that is normally not needed. This is the one that really does the work that we're grouping by n-gram instead of term this time and we're computing some of our usual measures. We're computing the count uh, and the uh, the sum of the document uh, class numbers. That's summing up the negatives. I have a unique count here. Uh, you can ignore that. I was doing it just to uh, test to make sure the, the counts really were unique. I think in the first video on this, I didn't show you what was inside the column rename, and all I was doing inside the column rename was changing the count of document to total hits, and the sum of document class to number to num negative. These other two I'm going to ignore, and the n-gram we can leave as it was. The sort doesn't matter. I was doing that for some initial assessment that I was doing, and then we're doing this exact same math formula as we did before, computing the percent positive, from the total hits and num negatives divided by the total hits, multiplying it by 100 to convert the fraction to a percentage. And for a percent negative, it's the same kind of calculation. If you're not familiar with doing these, you can build these up from scratch quite easily by just double clicking. It's the number of negative divided by, and I'm just going to hit the slash, divided by the total hits. And in this case, I'm going to multiply it by 100 to make sure I get the uh, the total. And I'm actually going to multiply 100.0 just in case uh, it does integer division instead. Some I, I, I actually don't know off the top of my head if NIME does it this way, but a lot of software products, when you're taking an integer like num negative is divided by another integer like total hits, it does integer division. And since uh, num negative is always less than total hits, when you do integer division of those two, you'll get a zero. So if the number negative is 100 and the total hits is 200, 100 divided by 200 is 0.5, but because they're integers, some software will uh, store that as a zero because it's less than one. It'll just take the integer part of it. So if you multiply it by a real number, it automatically converts everything to a, uh, a real, or what in NIME is called a double. So once we do that, I'm going to uh, run it through the row filters, and the row filter I'm really interested in is eliminating all those rows, excluding rows with fewer than 40 hits. And then we can look at those, looking at the filtered output of this. I'm going to dump the uh, num negative max over to the side, and the unique counts I'm going to dump over. You can just drag columns and move them around. We don't really want to see those. I just want to see the total hits. The n-gram, the total hits, perhaps the num negative, percent positive, and percent negative. And uh, once again, I can uh, sort by percent positive to look at these results. And these weren't nearly as interesting. And these are the ones I showed in the lecture. And if I sort by percent negative, these are more interesting. Things like bad movie, bad that, too bad, the worst, these kinds of uh, these these kinds of uh, bigrams. So that's that's the whole process. I wanted to make sure you saw just with the group by and computing the percent positive and negative. At this point, you could take these results. And you could filter uh, removing keywords that have uh, less than you know, some high percentage, like seventy five percent association with positive or negative sentiment. And uh, and then we'll we'll just build classifiers based upon those. 